guys, it's Asha and today's video is going to be my October favourites. I'm going to try and make this a really short intro just because I didn't actually do a favourites last month for September just because I didn't feel like I had enough stuff to show you and now it's October and I've got like a ton of stuff. So most of the favourites I have in the beauty section are actually stuff that I picked up at IMATS when I went to Sydney at the end of September. So the first favourite is this palette by Inglot and I actually made this um, myself at IMATS and it's in the Freedom System. Basically, um, if you guys don't know what the Freedom System is, you just pick and choose all the colours you want to put into your own palette and there's like, you can have how many, I guess, colours you would like. I chose five. I have the little boxes so I will try and put the colours down below. I've been loving this shade here and then also um, just the creamy white shade. And the consistency of these eyeshadows is amazing. It's incredible. They're super soft. Next is a lipstick and this is, um, it's like a cult favourite. It's by MAC and it's in the colour um, Angel. So this is what it looks like, it's just a very very nudie pink, I'm sure you guys have probably seen this before, but um, I just decided to join the bandwagon, I'm so glad that I got it, I feel like I am stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit just because it is quite, well you guys probably wouldn't think this is a very nude shade, but I do not like nudes, like, so this is the first really nude shade for me that I really really like, and I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. Ironically, I'm not wearing it right now, but I have been wearing it a lot. But yeah, I've been loving this lipstick. Next, I've got a couple of eyeshadows. Once again, I picked these all up from Eyemats. So the first one I've got is from Royal and Lane Nicole, and it's the Super Eye Fluff C448. And this is basically just a huge like blending eyeshadow brush, but I don't actually use this for eyeshadow. I've bought it for highlighter and I think it works amazing for highlighter. Next, I've got two brushes from Crown and I don't actually know the names of these, so I'm really sorry because they don't have the names on them. The first one is just your basic flat eyeshadow brush. I personally felt like I just didn't have enough flat eyeshadow brushes, so I picked this one up and I've been using it every day. It's really dense, so it just packs on eyeshadow really, really well. And next is kind of... Something just made a bang and I'm the only one home. Oh. Next is this, it's like a blending brush, but um, it's sort of not, like it's, I don't know how to explain it. I'll just show you the close up and then you guys will be able to see. It's amazing for blending out eyeshadow in the crease. This one's a really good brush too. Next I have a perfume and this is from Victoria's Secrets at Secrets. It's only one secret <laughs> and this is in pure seduction and I picked this up when I was at the airport going home from Sydney it's just red plum and freesia refreshing formula is infused with conditioning aloe vera and calming chamomile this is really nice I'm wearing it practically every single day and yeah it just smells really fruity like plums and it's overall just a great scent <laughs> last beauty favor I have is actually a self tanner and this is a huge surprise to me. It might be a surprise to some of you. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this just because I do actually have a whole video coming up where I talk about fake tanning, um, in particular for pale skin because I am quite fair. It's the Bondi Sands Light Medium Self Tanning Foam. And yeah, this stuff is really, really amazing. It has like an olive undertone, which I think a, what a, a lot of people say the Saint Tropez is one, Saint Tropez one has. Um, I've never tried that just because it's so expensive and I'm not spending like $50 on a bottle of fake tan. I have been really really liking this and if you guys would like to see how I apply my fake tan then I will leave that video down. <laughs> Moving on to fashion favourites. The first, the, the, <laughs> first favourite that I have is this little bracelet and it has this little thing at the front and it's silver and this is from her fashion box. When I was in Sydney for IMATS, the night before IMATS, I went to like a bloggers event and the ladies from her fashion box were there and they gifted us all with the latest her fashion box. And this was included and yeah, I've been wearing it so much and I definitely think it was a standout piece from the box. Next is something that I have mentioned before and you guys have probably already seen it, 
but I'm showing you again. This is a kimono and it's from Toby. I'm just gonna hide my face for a second, so excuse me. But it's like this really pretty pink floral pattern and the sleeves have like this crochet on the bottom and it's really, really light and flowy, perfect for summer and spring. Toby has some really, really awesome kimonos. I'm not sure if this one is in stock anymore just because I got it probably about a month ago now, but um, they have a ton of other ones. So if you did want to check out something that is similar to this, then definitely check out Toby.com. And the last fashion favorite I have is a bag. And this is what it looks like. It's just super, super long and it has a bit of a festival feel to it, which I like. Um, it's from Sports Girl, so it just has this fringe and then this gold detailing at the front. And I actually ended up getting this for $20, which it was not on sale. I basically went into Sports Girl and I saw the bag and it was on the sale rack um, for 50% off bags. And I was like, oh my god, that bag is so cute. Like, And I went up to the couch to buy it. And it came up on the screen as 40 and the lady's like I was like oh it's meant to be 20 and then she went over to the rack and she's like oh like it's not actually meant to be on that rack and I was like okay and then she's like you know what you can just have it for 20 dollars so she gave it to me for 20 dollars even though it was meant to be 40 and yeah I'm super super happy with this bargain that I picked up <laughs> favorites I'm gonna start off with a couple of youtubers that I have been loving the first one is hello Katie um, XO and the reason I love her videos is because she just has like a point of difference her editing skills are absolutely insane she's so good at editing and she's absolutely gorgeous and I'm sure you guys have heard of her before but if you haven't then definitely make sure you go and check out her channel I will leave it down below and the next YouTuber is Evelina Barry, and I'm sure you guys have probably heard of her before as well. But again, like Katie, she just has a real point of difference in her videos, and it's something that I'm extremely jealous of. It's hard to explain, but I feel like I, my videos, I just want to change them a bit. Of course, I still want to stay in beauty, but I just want to make them, like better quality if that makes sense and just give a sort of point of difference to make me different than all the other beauty youtubers out there and i feel like these two girls um definitely have that so if you can think of something then please leave a comment down below and let me know next i've got a couple of music favorites so the first is the new arctic monkeys album am i honestly was not the biggest arctic monkeys fan but when they, this album came out Oh my god, I literally like fell in love. I've been listening to it non-stop for the past month or even longer. It's amazing. I know like all the words to every single song. And I think even if you aren't an Arctic Monkeys fan, definitely check out this video. Check out this video. Okay. Definitely check out their new album because you would be very surprised. And I've heard there are a lot of people who didn't previously like them and they really like them now. The next is Lord, and I'm sure you guys have all heard of Lord. She's the 16 year old amazing singer from New Zealand. And to be honest, I wasn't really a big fan of hers when her like song Royals first came out, but then I sort of warmed up to her. And you know, I think I've decided that I actually really like her stuff now. So yeah, um, Arctic Monkeys and Lord for Music. And I think that's all I've got for all of my random favorites. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.